Hi, my name is Amit from bsvsolution.com and today I am going to show you and give you basic introduction about Microsoft Business Intelligence, one of the component called SSAL, SSAS called SQL Server Analysis Services. We'll talk about this in brief and I give you, explain you all the basic concept in a simple language. So let's first see the formal definition of SSAS and why do we need it. SSAS is Microsoft Business Intelligence, one of the component that's called OLAP solution, online analytical processing. And it is also used for data mining functionality. SSAS could also be called as a cube which present data in multidimensional format. Data is available in pre-aggregated manner, therefore the query processing would be faster. SSAS is a multi-dimensional database. I underline all this word and explain you. It's a multi-dimensional database, primarily designed for business users so that they can analyze business data in multiple views and prospective. Multiple views and different level of consolidation and store data logically in a cross tabular called multi-dimensional format. This is a graphical presentation of my cube. You see it consists of three dimensional view. One dimension is your time, another dimension is your majors or a facts, and another dimension could be called as your scenario. And the gray area shows occupied cell or selected cell. Now the first question, it's a, as I said, it's a multi-dimensional database. We already have a relational databases like SQL Server, DB2, Oracle, then why do we need a multi-dimensional database? And how does it different, how does it add value to any organization and how it is different than traditional database. So in order to understand this, we'll see some sample data. I have got one sample data for sales order processing. This is sales data. You see, uh, sales data is something like when you go to Walmart and buy something, they generate an invoice or a bill, the data, and they record the information to their transactional system. We call transactional system because it maintains day-to-day transaction. For example, one row is one transaction, which has got transaction ID. It's similar to your invoice number. So in Walmart, every time the transaction happens, they record the information in which city, which country the store are exist, the store is exist, the product detail, the time detail, and store detail, and various the information, how much sales are done, and various the information. The way they store data logically is called transactional system because it record information for day-to-day -day business. But this data is not meaningful for any kind of analysis or it's pretty difficult to directly make any analytical queries because the OLTP system or a transaction system is not designed to address such kind of question. Therefore, we reorganize this data or reformat them in a pre-aggregated manner. This is how it logically look like it's a two-dimensional view of my data. You see the same information are present in a different format. So I've got time dimension called January, February, Mar March and intersection with your province, Newcastle, Sydney, Texas and Ohio. An intersection of your time and your province would be your aggregated data. So this is how you can read total sales for January, Newcastle, total sales. Similarly, you can have three-dimensional view of your data so in addition to your time and province, you have got sales manager. So this is a cross tabular view of your time, province and sales manager. And this is also a pre-aggregated data. Every time business user query this information from this cross tabular view or multi-dimensional database, it is much more faster than the typical transactional database. So that's called multi-dimensional view. Another way, the same information can be viewed with a multiple, the same data can be viewed in a different perspective, right? So, I could see the sales, let's see the three-dimensional view. I could see the sales, the sales data for, when I look with, a, with, with the respect of time dimension, it's called quarter one sales. When I look the same data with respect to your province or city and time, you call this quarter one New York sales. You can add another dimension called quarter one New York sales for done by sales manager John. So the data changes according to the concept, according to the context or perspective. Same information can be seen a different perspective. 
and this give a rich uh, you know it give a capability to my business user to analyze information in multiple views and format so your SSA is present data in multi-dimensional array this is an example you can also assume the same thing present in an Excel format this is like a multi-dimensional array so logically your SSA is stored like this you could also see this it's like a box inside a box this is another way of presenting your multi-dimensional queue so you see it's a two-dimensional array and every intersection every cell in turn is a two-dimensional array so every time people use you know query some data like I want to see this data it would be intersection of New York New York product A January sales is a cross tabular view data navigation the data can be present in a multiple consolidation label the information can be present in multiple consolidation label right and it could be pre-aggregated as well so you can see in this uh, with respect to time dimension I'm looking at my sales for you know it's a pre-calculated data so my hierarchy is year quarter month so I could read this this is monthly sales it's a pre-calculated I could further consolidate this and this become a quarter one sales and it could further be consolidated at yearly so sales can be consolidated or aggregated at three different level and give me a summary information about it as it says enable me to do all this activity now the question comes back we already have a transactional system then why do we need OLAP transaction system designed to per, designed for day to day business operation or business strategy but it is not designed for any kind of analytical queries so there is a separate product Microsoft family has got two product SQL Server database and Microsoft analytical services OLTP system follow business processes where, whereas OLAP is designed for analysis purpose analytics and it works on business data warehouse the bottom diagram also play an important role it shows how data come from transactional system through various channel and land up into your OLAP server there's another product from Microsoft family called SSIS SSIS SQL Server Integration Service which pull data from disparate source system and populate or load data to your relational OLAP or multi-dimensional OLAP and the final result is the final result is navigated through reporting and users can make certain business decision depends upon uh, the data the way data stored into your multi-dimensional database so final step would be data presentation you also see the same information I present OLAP the source of OLAP server essentially a OLTP you may have multiple disparate OLTP could be your ERP CRM customer relationship management uh, customer relationship management resource planning enterprise resource planning or, or maybe some legacy product data pull from disparate sources disparate OLTP and populate your data mart or OLAP server enterprise data warehouse for enterprise which which work across multiple uh, department enterprise data warehouse may have data from different department of an organization like sales marketing procurement GHR and all data mart could be subject specific uh, you can also visualize multi image database as this box where each cell store the pre-calculated data with intersection of time your facts and your measure fact in your scenario so this is how you read it's a January total January sales for total January actual sales I can uh, the gray out box one part of box I mark with the gray out a gray color which demonstrate we are focusing on one part of the queue it's a total sales for actual versus budget I could further gray out one intersection for total sales for all three months total actual sales for all three months I could further even focus on one specific element of your multi-dimensional database like January actual sales so the beauty of this organizing your data in multi-dimensional format you can split into multiple pieces slices and focus on one element you can also compare one cell with another cell for example you like to compare your actual sales versus, versus your budget sales you can compare these two cells so data analysis become 
quite easy when you organize your information in multi-dimensional format. Right? This is called multiple view of your same business data. The graphical is shown over here. Now, if you look at the complete uh, Microsoft Business Intelligence uh, product suite, it is split into multiple pieces. This example demonstrates the whole life cycle of your BA information delivery. Right? The first part called, says gather. So you gather the required data from disparate sources. The data may be spread across in various sources, maybe from CRM, uh, ERP or some legacy product. One of the solution we use from uh, from Microsoft Business Intelligence family called SSIS. It is an ETL tool called Extract, Transform and Load and extract data from disparate sources, transform the data to make it meaningful in a business context and finally load it into your staging area. Staging area is your temporary place where you store, load the data. From there, you in turn load into your operational data source or maybe you load directly to your enterprise warehouse. Depends upon scenario to scenario. And SSAIS works once again over here to pull data from staging table to your enterprise warehouse. And once data available in your enterprise warehouse, finally data feed to your SSAS cube. It could be tabular view, relational OLAP, it could be multi-dimensional multi OLAP. We'll see in the next slides what is relational OLAP and multi-dimensional OLAP. And finally, the final step is data presentation and data share. Analysis of the information is done through OLAP and data is shared either using reporting. There's another product from Microsoft BI family called SQL Server Reporting Services where through which we can present the data or you can use typical SharePoint portal to share your business information. You also have a Power Query, uh, a BI component from Microsoft BI family through which you can integrate your corporate business data in Excel and your business user can continue to do all kind of analysis remaining in Excel. That's a complete view. This slide gives you one, ex one level more about your relational OLAP and multidimensional OLAP. Microsoft BI is designed for tabular OLAP called R OLAP and multidimensional OLAP. It cater and bring the best of the breed of solution for both the world. So you see it's typically done in three layers. So you have data source layer, maybe disparate sources. If you use your, your data source RDBMS, you populate your R OLAP and in turn could be used as some presentation layer through which you uh, you know present your business data. So you could have ROLAP in addition to this you can have all AMOLAP called multi-dimensional database. And you can use both functionality together as well in certain scenario. From performance point of view the primary the primary driving factor is performance. If your solution is not good enough not fast people don't like to use it. So here I've given a brief uh, you know the comparison between your different kind of OLAP solution. Our OLAP logically store your data in cross tabular manner on OLAP format. Therefore it is relatively slow. The performance of our OLAP greatly depends upon the underlying data source. So maybe my our OLAP sit on top of uh, SQL server. Therefore if my SQL server is not fast enough my R OLAP will not present. It's just a layer or a presentation of your relation database. So the major problem with the R OLAP is a slower query performance and slower aggregation because eventually the query process via SQL. The second kind of OLAP is called H OLAP, a hybrid OLAP, which is the appropriate combination of relation database and multi-dimensional database. For example, your hierarchy is I like this year, quarter, month, year, quarter, month, and weeks, and days. This is my hierarchy. The more granular data I store, the slower my query is. So we decided to split this hierarchy into two pieces. Year, quarter, month will store into OLAP server, and weeks and days we store into OLTP server. This way, on one hand, we can provide detailed information to the business user, on another hand, we can maintain the cube size. 
So we have got H OLAP performance relatively slow because it may access data from multiple data sources. The best is called AM OLAP, multi-dimensional OLAP. We store it is primarily designed for data analysis with faster query performance. Right, the data may be available at parent level called pre-calculated. So whatever data you want, there may not be any need of calculating this beforehand. So that's it for today. We have seen today what is OLAP server and what are different components it is. Why do we need OLAP server when we still have OLTP? And what are three important components for Microsoft Business Intelligence family called SSAS. It's a cube, multi-dimensional cube, SSIS, which is integration service, ETL product, and SSRS, SQL Server Reporting Studio, which is a one of the way through present business data. In the next slide, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a first cube. But today I'm going to stop here and open for your question.